Hi everyone, I want to share with you another product review today. Today I want to review the All Clad Belgian Waffle Maker, the four square one. Now, once again, I always say this, I am going to try not to make this video too long, but um, one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade to a new waffle maker, it, it didn't necessarily have to be a Belgian waffle maker, this is just what I found, um, was because I... I've always had like the one, the one Belgian waffle maker, which was circle in design. So when you are cooking breakfast, whether it's for family or a group of friends or what have you, it took me a long time. And, you know, you have to put the oven on warm and, um, you know, just keep it going. And it was just taking so long. So I decided to upgrade so that I can do more at one time. I want to go over some of the features really quick and this is really um, what made me kind of go with my decision. Um, first of all, we have uh, the cool touch handle. It is uh, stainless steel exterior. Uh, it has a deep waffle plate for even browning, the power indicator. You have seven settings for your uh, browning control, so that way, um, depending on who you're making your waffles for, it just doesn't have to be one way. Um, if someone wants theirs a little more brown, you can definitely set it that way. Now, this is what, I re what really caught my eye, is this overflow tray clip on the back to catch the excess batter. And that was what I was experiencing with the other waffle maker is sometimes it would get uh i would pour too much in there and it would just flow out so i was constantly cleaning up you know the overflow of the batter and then you also have your ready to cook indicator and the non-slip um feet now i've had this uh waffle maker for a while but let me know in the comments below if you still keep your boxes um, normally we were, before my husband retired, we were moving like every three years. And I noticed during the beginning of our military career that when the movers came, some of them was just like breaking up stuff and not putting things back right. So I started keeping my boxes because we will always have some type of storage um, wherever we stay and I would just keep my boxes and so when it was time for us to move again all I had to do is put everything back in a box to keep them um, to keep everything from getting either broken or tore up or cracked or thrown around and so I still do that I'm not sure if we'll be here permanently but um, I still have a lot of things with boxes in them just because of that now a lot of times I do I get rid of boxes like the Vitamix um, box. I went ahead and got rid of that. And then my husband keeps saying, just throw it away, you know. And if we do move, we'll deal with it when it gets time. But let me know if you still keep your boxes because I think this is one that I should probably throw away. I have taken our waffle maker out of the box so that you can get a um, look of the size. And then we'll open it up here and we'll go over the parts. You know, I think it's pretty good size. You just pour your batter in the different four sections and you can have four at one time and that will speed things up quite a bit. Um, it's really simple design when you plug it in. Um, this is the, I don't know if you can see it, the power button. So when you plug it in, this button will come on and then this is your ready light. Once you um, set your dial to the brownness that you like and it is ready, this um, indicator will come on and it will beep. And so then you have that extra batter um, tray on the back. So all you do is just kind of tilt it and then just sit it in there. So if anything, if you have any extra batter, it'll run out here and that makes for easy cleanup. Now, we're going to make some waffles today and I have this mix out. This is like my go-to mix. Okay, I am sorry about that. It should be some type of law against telemarketers because that is what our home phone is for, for the telemarketers to continue to call. But anyway, this is um, my go-to mix and it's from Williams and Sonoma. It's just a 
um, Belgian waffle mix because your waffles are supposed to be nice crisp on the outside and nice and light and fluffy on the inside and I think that this mix does a great job of doing that and so all you have to add to this mix is um, four tablespoons of unsalted butter and um, one and one half cups of warm water and just mix it thoroughly. So we're going to use that today to make and I also have a um, I also like to make whipped cream so um, we'll do that also. I also wanted to show you depending on how you store it these little things on the top is where it locks so you see how you can um, lift it but just say for instance you want to store it vertically or you know somewhere where it, the top didn't open so you just lock both sides and then you know it won't lift or you can carry it too also without it flopping open i'm not sure how well you can see it but this waffle maker also comes with a little um, recipe book where you can make um, all type of different waffles you have buttermilk waffles chocolate waffles which i think will be really good but it's just like a little booklet or pamphlet that will, um, like I said, if you don't want to do a mix and you want to do your own recipe, you could do that too. I think um, the waffle French toast we've tried before too, and that was really, really good. So um, that's always good is when the product includes um, recipes in there also. So I have my batter mixed up according to the instructions on the back of our Belgian waffle um, mix and you don't have to use a mix if you know a recipe or have a recipe for waffles you're definitely welcome to use that but for me this is just much easier and I definitely love the taste of it so I'm going to go ahead and get everything plugged up and preheated and then we'll go ahead and get started with our waffles so it does give you a little beat to let you know that it's preheated and ready to go. And then also you have the green um, light that says it's ready. So what I do is I go in and give it a little spray with the non-stick cooking spray, which is going to help for easier cleanup. And so once I do that, all I have to do is set it on my number that I want. And we'll just go halfway today. We'll just go four that it's already on. Now I have my batter mixed up, so I'm just going to give it another good stir, stir. And I like this bowl because after I give it a good stir, all I have to do is just pour it in there and that'll help um, not make a mess. So I just got a little beep that everything is ready, so let's go ahead and lift it up. And these are our nice and golden waffles that we have here. So I will go ahead and take these out and then we'll go ahead and prep everything. I want to share with you a quick whipped cream recipe also that is like my go-to from Alton Brown. And I'll make sure that I provide the link for that. But let's go ahead and whip that up and then we can get everything ready and breakfast will be served. Okay, so really quick before we get our setup for our whipped cream, um, it's really... Um, with that spray non-stick, I had just a little bit of batter that went back there. Um, when you lift it, it does fall out, but not a lot of batter got in here. Um, the only thing is I use these tongs here to get them out. And uh, maybe if they had like a little utensil that kind of got deep in there, because these are deep griddles, that would be better. So you do kind of, you know, burn yourself just a little bit, but I'm totally used to it. Okay, now finally we're gonna make our whipped cream. And like I said, I'll link this um, recipe below, but it's by Alton Brown. It's really simple to make. This is my go-to, whether I'm making a pie um, or whatever I need whipping cream for, this is the go-to recipe. So it's really simple. What you wanna do is you want to make sure that um, you've set your um, container and the whisk in in the deep freezer or your freezer wherever you, you can fit it at in the freezer or deep freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes to get it nice and cold and then all you need is one cup of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of sugar 
and you're just going to pour it in here and just let it go and then once you see it start to come to a peak it's pretty much ready and it's done and it's so good so i'm going to get everything poured in let everything whip up and then we'll plate everything together and i'll show you how we um present like a family style breakfast Okay, so I really wanted to show you really quick before I put these in um, a serving dish, but this does not take long at all. Like you can literally cut it on and just walk away, but we have our whipped cream all ready to go. It's nice and fluffy. And so I'll get this um, served up and then we will be ready. Okay, so we have everything plated up and ready to go. Now, I did another small batch so that I can show you the difference in the numbers. This was done on three, and these back here were done on four. So, um, I like that you have that flexibility so that if someone doesn't like theirs as brown, you can definitely, um, you know, turn down the number so that it'll be a little bit lighter we just have some bacon here and the whipped cream is so nice and so fluffy we have that and any unused portion you can put it in the refrigerator and just right before you get ready to serve it again just whip it um, for a couple minutes and then we have some sliced strawberries here now sometimes I will make a strawberry syrup um, with some sugar and a little bit of um, simple syrup but we just have some sliced up that you can put um, over your strawberries and I thought these were so cute for guests um, I picked these up at TJ Maxx and um, you can just grab one of those when you get ready to grab your plate and so you can put this whole platter on the table and everybody can just serve themselves okay so overall i am very pleased with the um four square belgian waffle maker because number one it saves me time and i don't have to do everything one by one um as before now one thing that i wish they would have designed on here is if you could take these out and wash them because um right now you have to kind of maneuver it and getting them washed because you want to make sure everything is washed and clean so I really wish that the plates were detachable um, another feature that I really love is the fact that the little cup the overflow batter cup catches it in the back so you don't make a mess with um, batter oozing out of the sides out the front out the back so I really like that and I really like the simple design um, it's pretty self-explanatory turn it on wait for the beat um, put whatever how brown you want your Belgian waffles and then it'll beat when it's ready. Now, one more thing that would be great if they included it is something that can get that um, waffle out a little bit better than just like the tongs or your hand, um, a way for you to like get them out and separate them. But other than that, I do think this was a good investment for me because um, it's really quick. So I'll make sure that I also link the um, waffle maker in the description or one that is similar because I've had this for a little while now. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you are in the market or you know someone that's in the market, I hope you share this video with them so that they can make a decision on which waffle maker to get and if you're not a subscriber we would love to have you as a subscriber so make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time that we upload a video again thank you so so much for watching and until the next video bye bye